friends, Miss Christy here, and today we're going to read Clark the Shark, written by Bruce Hill. It's illustrated by Guy Francis. Clark the Shark. In all the wide blue seas in the middle of the blue world at the top of the school for fish was Theodore Roosterfish Elementary, and of all the fish at Theodore Roosterfish, the biggest and the strongest was Clark the Shark. Clark loved school, and he loved his teacher, Miss Inky Dink. He loved to play upsy downsy and spin a mad zig with his friends. Clark loved his life. School is awesome, shouted Clark the Shark. Less shouting, more reading, said Miss Inky Dink. Lunchtime is so sweet, yelled Clark the Shark. Munch your own lunch, said his best friend, Joey Mackerel. Recess rocks, bellowed Clark the Shark. You were playing rough, Clark, cried the other kids. Yes, Clark loved his life with all his sharky teeth, but he loved everything way too much. He was too loud, he was too wild, he was just too much shark for the other fish to handle. After a while, no one would play with Clark, no one ate lunch with him, no one sat with him at circle time, even his best friend Joey said, cool your jet shark, you're making me crazy. One day, Clark asked Mrs. Inky Dink, what's wrong with everyone? Mrs. Inky Dink patted his fin. Clark, sometimes you play too hard, you munch too hard, and gosh, you even help too hard. But life is so exciting, said Clark. There's a time and a place for everything, said Mrs. Inky Dink, and sometimes the rule is to stay cool. At recess, Clark tried to stay cool, but he pushed the swing with too much zing. Sorry, said Clark, I forgot. Yikes, said Joey. At lunch, Clark tried to stay cool, but everything smelled so good that he munched a bunch of lunches. Sorry, said Clark, I forgot. We're starving, said his friends. <clears throat> In class, Clark tried to stay cool, but a good book got him all shook up. Now, Clark, said Mrs. Inky Dink, this isn't the time or place. Tell me, what's the rule? Stay cool, said Clark. Hey, that rhymes, he cries. Then Clark got a big idea in his sharky head. Maybe if I make a rhyme, I will remember every time, he thought. The next day, he put his plan to work. In class, when lessons got exciting, Clark wanted to bounce up out of his seat. Instead, he told himself, when the teacher's talking, don't go walking. And what do you know, it worked. boy, Clark, said Mrs. Inky Dink. Clark smiled, lessons are fun. At lunch, everything smelled so yummy. When Clark wanted to eat and eat and never stop, he told himself, only munch your own lunch. And it worked again. Way to go, Clark, said his friends. Clark grinned, lunch is fun. At playtime, Clark told himself, easy does it, that's the way. Then my friends will let me play. And playtime was fun. Once more, Clark loved his life. But then a shadow fell across the playground. A ginormous shadow with tentacles galore. It's a new kid and he looks scary, cried Joey. Swim for your lives, the squid squashed squashed the slide and snapped off the swings. Oops, my bad, said the new kid. Wait, said Clark, he just wants to play. Let's find a way. He swam at the new kid with all his might. Clark played harder than he had before. Upsy downsy and spin him a jig. Why, he even made up a new game called Tail Wumpa Lumpus. Wow, that was fun, said the new kid breathlessly as he settled down. If you want to come to school, you've got to stay cool, said Clark. That's right, Clark, said Mrs. Inky Dink. And thanks for taking care of our new classmate, Sid the Squid. Hooray for Clark the Shark. Everyone cheered. That night, Clark's mother asked, What did you learn at school, dear? There's a time and a place for everything, Clark said. Sometimes you stay cool. 
But sometimes a shark's got to do what a shark's got to do. Bye, friends.